In today's Health Alert, scientists report promising results for an innovative form of birth control for men. This hormonal gel has been shown to effectively reduce sperm production in clinical trials. And here to share more about the study details is Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, thank you for being with us today. We want to talk about this gel. What's in it? How effective is it? That's pretty exciting stuff, right? This potential birth control for men contains testosterone and nesterone, which is a synthetic progestin. This is a type of hormone used in contraceptive methods. The result from the phase two trial showed that the gel successfully decreased sperm production in men. Now, a total of 222 men took part in the study, all between the ages of 18 and 50. Every day they applied a, about a teaspoon of uh, gel to each shoulder blade and researchers monitored their sperm production every four weeks. By the 12th week, 86% of the men experienced a decrease in sperm count making pregnancy unlikely. Now on average, F effective contraception assignment was achieved within eight weeks, which was faster than previous methods tested. Also participants maintained testosterone levels that did not affect their uh, sex drive, which is important, and no adverse side effects were reported. The, sex, the second uh, phase of the study is still in progress with researchers monitoring the effectiveness of the gel in preventing pregnancy. So and some are wondering what's the chance of this making it to market and then also are there non-hormonal options potentially? Yeah, big questions, right? So the a phase three, uh, three trial for this potential male contraception gel is still needed. On average, it costs, get this, Simon, one to two billion dollars to get a drug to market. For this product, funding from a partner like a major pharmaceutical company is essential, but so far, none have stepped up. As for non-hormonal options, right, a San Francisco-based pharmaceutical company called Your Choice Therapeutics found its non-hormonal pill safe in a small a UK trial with 16 men. The pill works by blocking a vitamin A receptor that's needed for male fertility. The company is now planning a much larger study. Also, a Virginia medical device company called Contraline is testing its non-hormonal male birth control method. It involves a 15-minute procedure where a gel is in injected into the tubes that carry sperm from the testicles. An early trial in Australia showed a 99.8 to 100% reduction in, in motile sperm within 30 days for 25 participants. Contraline aims to uh, start trials in the U.S. in 2025. And I support male contraception because it would give men greater control of their reproductive uh, health and help them share the responsibility of preventing pregnancies. It also would provide more birth control options, especially for women who aren't able to use hormonal methods due to major side effects for medical reasons. So I think it's a good thing where we can share in this because, you know, it, it, it takes two, right? And so far, it's been the burden has been on women, and so we can, I think, chip in now. Keeping it equal. Yeah, thank you so much for being here with us, Dr. Nandy. Of course, my pleasure. Yeah, thanks. And if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com, or send it to us on Facebook or on X.